Hi, and welcome to Build a Pyramid with Rectangular Prisms. Today we'll be making a fun pyramid with the geometric shape rectangular prisms, and we'll be doing a little geometry, getting the volume of each rectangular prism, and then adding those to get the volume of our pyramid. The basic building block that we'll be working with today is the rectangular prism, a geometric solid called a polyhedron and it's part of our series of 3D shapes that we'll be working with. A polyhedron has flat faces and straight edges. The polyhedron that we'll be working with today is called a hexahedron and that means it has six faces or six sides and that comes from the classic Greek word hex, the root hex meaning six and hedron, hedron meaning faces. A common rectangular prism that we use every day in our home and in the workplace is a box. So a box is a hexahedron. If we pulled our box apart, cut off the faces, and made them individual pieces, we'd have six faces. One would be the top, the actual top of the box. Two would be the left side. Three would be the right side. One with four would be the back. Five would be the front, the facing part, and six would be the bottom. So we'd actually have six different faces if we pulled our box apart. Another common box or hexahedron that we see uh, in the home is a box of cereal. So a box of cereal is a hexahedron or a rectangular prism, and it has six sides. Now, in a previous video, we looked at two dimensions. We have a rectangle with two dimensions, width and length. And if we took that rectangle and turned it on its side and we looked at a cross section, it would look like a line. So let's, uh, for example, say that our rectangle was a sheet of paper and we were looking at it from the side, it would look like a line. And if we added another sheet of paper on top of that, then we would begin to add height. So we add another and another and another. We just keep adding sheets of paper and before you know it we'd have a rectangular prism. And that rectangular prism would be three-dimensional because it not only has width and length, now it has height. So height is the defining characteristic that gives us our three dimensions. So our rectangular prism has length, it has width, and it has height. And if you notice, if we vary the length, the width, or the height of our box, our pr rectangular prism, it will look different, but it is still a hexahedron and it's still a rectangular prism. So now let's take a look at an equation to get our volume, because we're going to get the volume of our rectangles, rectangular prisms, and then we're going to use that to make our pyramid. So the volume of a rectangular prism is actually the length times the width times the height. That will give us our volume or the space inside the box. If we want to solve for that, let's give it some values and, and solve. So let's say that our length is 4, our width is 3, and our height is 5. So if we apply that to our formula, the volume is equal to 4 times 3 times 5, which gives us a value of 60. And if we look at our units, we know that we are multiplying three dimensions, length times width times height. So when we do that, it's going to give us cubic units, cubic inches, feet, or meters, or whatever we're measuring. So that is our units for a rectangular prism. And we can write that as 60 inches to the third cubic inches. Now let's go over to our pyramid. Now we're going to build a pyramid. A pyramid is a structure in which the outer surfaces are triangular and also that the, there is a convergence point at the top. So let's begin to build our pyramid. We're going to build it out of our rectangular prisms. And there's the first one on the base, the bottom. It's the largest uh, rectangular prism. And we're going to add two, the second layer. And it's a little smaller and three, and four, and five, and six, here comes six, and we're going to squeeze seven in there, and seven. So that these seven rectangular prisms 
will give us uh, the triangular face of our pyramid. Now let's look at the total volume of our pyramid. We're going to solve for the total volume of our pyramid. In order to do that, we're going to need to add the volume of all seven rectangular prisms. So that means we need to get the volume of each of our rectangular prisms and then add them together. In order to do that, there's a nice tool that we can use called a spreadsheet. And we can build a spreadsheet for each of our seven rectangular prisms, find the volume for each, and then add them together. So in this particular spreadsheet, we'll need five columns, one for the prism, one for the length, one for the width, and the height of each rectangular prism. We'll solve for the volume of each rectangular prism, and then for the total volume, we'll add them together and get the total volume of our, rect of our uh, pyramid. And remember, it's going to be in cubic units, so we want to remember that. The total volume of our pyramid will be in, in cubic units. So when you finish, you should have something that looks like this, and you can um, design your, your uh, pyramid to your liking with different colors and different uh, textures, and put in your, your solving your problem, your formula. Total volume is 300 cubic inches or whatever it comes out to be, and you can save that and upload it to your favorite website. Now before we go, I wanted to mention a cube because a cube is a special type of hexahedron. It's a hexahedron or a rectangular prism in which all the sides are equal and all the edges are equal. So we have our edges here in yellow and all of them are, are equal. And that means our length, our width, and our height are all equal. So if our length was A, our width would be the same, and our height would be the same, they would all be the same. Uh, length. And if we get the equation for our cube, the volume of a cube is a cubed, so we're going to multiply it three times. So if a is 4, then we're going to take three sides cubed and multiply by 4. So a is 4, and our formula again, a to the third, that means 4 to the third, so that means 4 times 4 times 4 length, width, and height, and that's going to give us a value of 64. And again, our units, or just remember, when we're multiplying three dimensions, our units are going to be cubic units, cubic inches, feet, or meters, or whatever it is, the measurement that we're using. Now, before we go, I just want to mention this. In a subsequent video and other videos, we're going to show you how to do, have a little more fun with this by adding photos into your shapes and that's going to be a lot of fun and more individual and more artistic and we'll also talk about how to build the pyramid with our rectangular prisms so that concludes our video we hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one